Hi, and welcome to this special broadcast directly from our studios at Cornerstone Baptist Church in Oviedo, Florida. My name is Edgar Nazario, and today I have a special treat for all the women who are listening. But before that, I want to take a moment to invite you to our 2016 Women's Conference under the title, Seeking the Glory of God, with guest speakers Susan J. Hack and Martha Peace. Now, stay tuned, because at the end of the broadcast, we will let you know how to register for this conference. Uh, All the ladies who will attend this year, We'll definitely have a time of fellowship, joyful worship, and biblical teaching. And speaking of biblical teaching, this year we have the blessing to have two very special women who are very well known for their biblical teaching among uh, women worldwide and their love for God's Word. I'm speaking about sisters Susan J. Hack and Martha Peace. Today we have the opportunity to have with us live via phone, Martha Peace. Thanks for taking the time to join us on this broadcast, Martha. Well, thank you, Edgar. Now, for those who don't know Martha, allow me to give you a little bit of background. Martha has been married to her high school sweetheart, Sanford Peace, for 50 years. She's a gifted teacher and an exhorter. She has worked for eight years as a biblical counselor and is currently active in her family in Faith Bible Church, where she teaches ladies Bible study classes and counseling classes, as well as counseling in the church. Martha has authored a workbook, Raising Kids Without Raising Cain, and books entitled The Excellent Wife. The Study Guide to the Excellent Wife, Becoming a Titus to Woman, Trying to Not Titer, Damsels in Distress, and a parenting book co-authored with Stuart Scott entitled The Faithful Parent. She's a mother of two and a grandmother of 12 precious children. And now Martha, what I'd like for us to do is to talk about the conference sessions so that the women listening can get a clear idea of what is to be expected. Um, I have in front of me the conference itinerary along with the titles, so let's begin. Begin uh, discussing the first session. The title of your first session is Trials, a Reminder of How Much We Need God. Uh, what led you to start with this topic, and what should the ladies be looking forward to hearing in this session? Well, one of the things that occurred to me was that we all, at times, go through trials. Some are rather insignificant, and some are Uh, just very difficult, very terrible trials, but it reminded me of Peter and what he wrote in 1 Peter, because he was writing to uh, Christians who were scattered throughout the Roman provinces. They were going to be going through persecution. Nero was going to become the emperor of Rome soon, and um, He just did horrific things to Christians. And so Peter reminds them of what the Lord has done for them. He reminds them of the gospel. And then he points them to the future glory that awaits them when we go to be with the Lord. And But when you're in between those two things, it's like being in a dark tunnel and we can't see, and it's scary, and we don't know if the trial is going to have a good outcome or not. And Peter tells us in First Peter, he says, um, in these trials, he said, in this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the tested genuineness of your faith and this is what God is doing. When, when we have a trial, we need to think about God's sovereign providence over us. And God is testing our faith, and he's molding our character into more and more Christ-likeness. And Peter said, this tested genuineness of your faith, it's more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And we all go through trials. If we don't go through trials, we know people who do. And we need to help them to have a right perspective of what God is doing and how they can worship him better, how they can be grateful to him, and how they can say in the trial, no matter how hard it is, 
Lord, thank you for reminding me how much I need you. Martha, as an experienced counselor, how would you counsel the women who are listening right now on how to biblically deal with those difficult moments uh, that they will be facing or are facing in their life? Well, when when I am counseling, this is what I tell my counselees, the ladies that I work with. Um, I'm a biblical counselor. Also, myself, when I am confronted with a trial, uh, this is what I do. I pray. I ask God for a good outcome, for whatever it is. But I have to add whatever would glorify you the most. And then in Philippians 4, it says to pray, make your request known to God. But then it says with thanksgiving. And a lot of times I thank him for reminding me how much I need him. I thank him for testing me. I thank him for what he's going to do. I look forward to seeing God's hand in this trial. And then I will just pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And then when I get scared again or overcome with this, I just go back to the basics. Lord, my request is that this trial um, will be over soon or whatever her request is. But she has to add, Jesus said in John 14, you can ask me anything in my name and I will do it if it's for the glory of the Father. So we just need to praise God for the fact that we can even talk to him. I mean, this is amazing. And that he listens to us and he will never, ever give us more than we can bear says that in First Corinthians ten thirteen. Thank you so much, Martha, for sharing with all of our women listeners a little bit of the great teaching that is to come. You're very welcome. Thank you, Edgar. And for all the women who are out there who are listening, let me encourage you to register today and don't risk being left out since we do have a limited amount of seating. Once again, come and join us in our 2016 Women's Conference under the title Seeking the Glory of God with guest speakers Susan J. Hack and Martha Peace. This Women's Conference will be hosted at Cornerstone Baptist Church this coming 15th and 16th of July. All of our ladies will enjoy a time of fellowship, joyful worship, and biblical teaching. So take advantage and register today online by visiting www.seekinghisglory.net. I'll repeat that again, www.seekinghisglory.net. Or if you have questions, feel free to give us a call here at our studios at 407-971-7685. 407-971-7685. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to seeing you at our 2016 Women's Conference. God bless you.